Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shan, and today uh, we're going to talk about how to create Azure resources using uh, Terraform. In last video, we we uh, we we did an installation on on Windows machine. How to install Terraform on Windows? Over the next couple of videos, we're going to create some of the key resources, high-level resources on Azure using Terraform, and uh, understand how it works. So, so let's let's probably get started. Uh, so over in front of you, uh, we have the Terraform Azure page where we have uh, listed all the where where Terraform has listed all the uh, APIs uh, uh, APIs which will be Terraform will be using to configure your resources. So uh, whatever resources you want to create, you can pick and choose your uh, snippet snippet from here, and then you can run it uh, using any of your code editor. So let's let's uh, for the purpose of the video we are going to use uh, uh, we are going to use Visual Studio Code and uh, that's 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 a tool you can download and get started of it. You got to create the folder and keep your Terraform exe a binary inside that folder. I have already created on a uh, file with name as Azure RG.tf. Make sure that all your t uh, Terraform file has to be with the extension .tf. So once you have created the file, let's go ahead and paste the uh, snippet. Let's let's take you through uh, what it does. So resource is a keyword which it's going to use to create your resource. Uh, in this case, it's going to be Azure RM hyphen underscore resource underscore group. Had it been something else in virtual machine, it would have been like um, Azure RM underscore virtual machine. Uh, so this is static; it remains same. You cannot change that. Beside that, you give a tag to this particular resource group. Like, you can give uh, uh, testing or or, or uh, demo. Uh, this is not the name of the resource group, but we're gonna use this name as a reference in a few of the parameters in in our coming videos. So once we have give the reference to this particular group, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, the braces and define the attributes of this resources. We're gonna give this resource group a name, um, demo resource group using Terraform. So once this has been created, we're gonna choose the location. Could be anything, could be West US or North Europe, whatever deemed appropriate as per your subscription. Environment, that's gonna be the tag of your resource group. So we can give it a QA or dev, whatever uh, basis on your requirement. That's it. That's 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 all you need to do to create resource group. You hit save button, <coughs> and let's pull up our Terraform directory. So you just cd into where your Terraform binary is saved. That's gonna be cd devops with Sean. We're gonna hit Terraform.exe. Yep. So we're gonna check what version it is just to make sure that's running fine. Yes, it's running fine. So. Uh, we, we, we first how we run the command uh, how we run Terraform file is first we check all the like we do it in Get, GitHub it we we check if there has been any new addition in in the files so Terraform inet checks if there is any anything new has been added into the file or uh, uh, the directory so this is now checking uh, if if anything has been added and it downloads all the plugins. Uh, basis on the resource you are using basis on if you're using Azure it's gonna download some plugins for you it's gonna be uh, Amazon it's download those plugins for you once we have done a Terraform INET we're gonna do a plan so plan is going to is like it's gonna tell you what kind of uh, changes it's gonna do, make into your Azure environment so the plus sign signifies that you have uh, this particular resource which has been created on Azure that's going to be the name, that's going to be uh, the location, this is the name, this is the ID, tags. So once the plus sign signifies that something is going to be created, minus sign with a red uh, denotion is going uh, to signify that it's going to delete something. So we are good and we now we're going to apply Terraform apply and it's going to ask you to confirm if you want to make these changes. once. You hit save button it's going to create these so it has added let's go ahead and check our azure subscription if it is added so over here we if we hit a refresh button 
we will see that uh, the source group has been created so where you see that the source group has been created now if you want to delete this particular uh, resource group what you just do is terraform destroy and it will destroy so it's going to ask you this is what it's going to destroy so terraform is going to destroy this particular resource group uh, one to destroy nothing to change nothing to add you hit yes and this is going to delete the resource which was created a couple of minutes back so let's wait for a couple of uh, minutes and hopefully it will delete it meanwhile it's deleting you notice once you hit once you hit the uh, terraform apply it creates a terraform state file as well which has all of your uh, information like all the states of your terraform uh, the resources which were created and all kind of metadata have so while this is performing this operation um, so let's 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 run through what all it did so this uh, it was it is quite simple to create uh, a resource group and uh, and hence hence forward we would be using most of our most of our resources from here to create and build resources in azure so i hope this was informative um, terraform is not only uh, used to uh, create build your infrastructure but also to collaborate just like developers has been doing from so many years so that you define your uh, infrastructure uh, in such a way that somebody else picking up that particular uh, file in in future can understand what you have done so it's more of a like documenting things you just define things rather than uh, uh, rather than procedural language where you where you put a lot of logics so that's the beauty of uh, terraform language that you do not uh, use a procedural language you have you just declare things you just talk to uh, uh, machine nothing else so i hope this this video was informative uh, this video was all about how to get started and create resources on azure in next couple of videos we're going to be talking about how to create some more resources like load balancers networking groups security groups gmz and a lot of things Stay tuned and keep watching the videos. I hope you liked it and this was informative view. Thank you.